Welcome to Travels Unfiltered. Today we are highlighting the top 20 restaurants in Melbourne, Australia. For more travel tips make sure to subscribe to our channel. Coming in at number 20 we suggest the Sherlock Holmes. This gimmicky pub is a great spot for after work drinks if you're in Melbourne on business or for a casual catch up with mates. Serving up pub classics at reasonable prices, local and imported beers and Australian made wines, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to know this is a good find. Coming in at number 19 we recommend Chaconi's Flinders Lane. This is a Venetian inspired restaurant set in a New York style basement on Melbourne's most famous laneway. With an open face kitchen, sleek marble counters and stainless steel finishings, this is a restaurant that caters to luxury. Chaconi's is not a cheap eats restaurant, but the food served here is extremely high quality therefore the prices are justified. Not only is the standard menu ample with options, but there is also a designated vegan menu. Coming in at number 18 we suggest Grill Steak Seafood. From the title of this restaurant, it's obvious that they specialize in grilled steak and seafood, but the menu also features a range of other delicious dishes including pasta, salads and even kangaroo. Whilst the restaurant's interiors are lovely, we recommend heading here for lunch or an early dinner on a sunny day and sitting in the outdoor courtyard with a large varied main menu a smaller and extremely affordable kids menu and a short and sweet dessert menu there is something for everyone at grilled steak seafood at number 17 we recommend movida bar de tapas Movida aims to shine a light on the best of Spanish cuisine using the finest produce Melbourne has to offer. Movida is such an iconic establishment in Melbourne that it has expanded to three separate and unique venues throughout the city. The original Movida is a Spanish tapas bar tucked away in Hosier Lane with an intimate ambience and flavor-packed share dishes. Due to the success of original, Movida Acqui opened in a larger space on Bourke Street. Whilst not being as intimate as original, Acqui has taken advantage of its large space to fit out a kitchen that can cook up big share dishes like paella and charcoal grilled meats. Finally, there's Movida Next Door. Less of a dining spot and more of a starting point for a night out, Movida Next Door serves up delicious, shared snacks along with wine, sangria, and cocktails. Whatever type of night you're planning, Movida has a venue for you. Coming in at number 16 we suggest Supernormal. Supernormal is a modern Australian restaurant inspired by the flavors of Shanghai, Tokyo, Seoul, and Hong Kong. The crowds that Supernormal draws in are a testament to how the food served up here is consistently great. Supernormal offers an a la carte and banquet menu option, which are extensive and can be paired with a great selection of beverages. Not only is the food and drink delicious, but the menu at Supernormal is also affordable. If you're looking for a great spot to eat in Melbourne without breaking the bank, Supernormal sits high on our list of recommendations. Coming in at number 15 we recommend Rare Steakhouse Uptown. Whilst Rare Steakhouse is so popular that it is located in three locations across Melbourne CBD, our favorite has to be the Uptown Steakhouse. Warmly lit with exposed brick walls and oak furnishings, you can't help but feel cozy at Uptown. Whilst the Steakhouse is best known for their steak, they also feature a variety of different menu options for non-beef eaters which are great if you're dining as a group. After you've polished off your plate you might like to indulge in a little post-meal dessert or cheese board. The cheese is all locally sourced from Long Paddock Cheese in Victoria and we think it's the perfect way to round out your meal. Coming in at number 14 we suggest San Telmo. San Telmo is an award-winning Argentine steak restaurant that aims to bring loved ones together over great food and drinks. The restaurant itself is decorated with authentic Argentinian pieces, including the 300-year-old antique doors. As you listen to tango music and enjoy shared meals from the asado-style menu, you'll really feel like you're sitting in a restaurant in Buenos Aires. If you are ordering a lot of shared dishes, which is recommended, make sure to save room for dessert. The dulce de leche desserts just can't be passed up. Coming in at number 13 we recommend Coda. Coda is one of Melbourne's most talked about restaurants. It serves up a fusion of French-Vietnamese cuisine, with a huge emphasis on balanced flavors. At Coda, the menu is constantly changing to suit the top market ingredients and seasonal produce locally available. Both the food and wine menu are designed for sharing. For that reason, the menu is laid out with small starters, in between dishes, large meals for sharing, options for accompanying side plates, and a range of varying desserts. When it comes to wine, 
bottles are served as halves. This way you get the bonus of being able to share your wine without being stuck to one blend for the course of the meal. Our top tip is to ask the wait staff for their food and wine pairing recommendations. You'll be glad you did. Coming in at number 12 we suggest Maha. Celebrity chef Shane Delia is well known for his cooking show Spice Journey and his frequent appearances as a guest chef on MasterChef Australia. His Melbourne restaurant Maha lives up to his MasterChef reputation. Located on Bond Street in Melbourne CBD, Maha serves up some of the city's best Middle Eastern cuisine. Whether you are heading to Maha for lunch or dinner, you'll want to arrive hungry. The menus are set in a banquet style with either a two, four, five or six set course for dinner. Dinner at Maha is a bit of a splurge, but we think it's an experience that's well worth the price. Make sure to book your table in advance because Maha is a popular choice for Melbourne visitors and we don't want you to miss out on the incredible food here. Coming in at number 11 we recommend Flower Drum. Flower Drum is a modern Cantonese restaurant with an extensive food and wine menu. This is one of the priciest restaurants on this list but that is only because the quality of the food and wine is truly outstanding. There is a separate wine menu for dinner and lunch, and the option to either choose your own dishes or follow chef recommendations in a banquet menu during both serving times. If you opt for the banquet option, we recommend adding on the wine pairing option. If you are heading out for a special event, Flower Drum also offers a private dining option in a dining room separated from the rest of the restaurant. A meal at Flower Drum is an experience you'll want to splurge for. Coming in at number 10, we suggest Plus 39 Pizzeria. Plus 39 Pizzeria claims to serve the best pizza in Melbourne, and we agree with them. The restaurant was started by six friends who frequently phoned their nonnas in Italy for great recipes and good conversation. What better name for the restaurant than the area code for the country they were phoning home to? Located just off Little Bork Street in Melbourne's East End, Plus 39 Pizzeria is your one-stop shop for reds and whites, we're talking pizzas and wines. If pizza isn't your thing, Plus 39 also has a small but well-rounded pasta menu that measures up to the quality of the pizza being served. The restaurant is open every day of the week so make sure to stop by next time you get a craving for cheese and carbs. Coming in at number 9 we suggest Long Run. Long Run is one of Melbourne's top Thai restaurants. Located in a converted horse stable, Long Run is a spacious, modern, and vibrant venue to catch up with friends over a great meal. All the food here is made with fresh, good quality seasonal produce. You can choose to dine a la carte or banquet, but if you're heading here with a group of eight or more, the menu is banquet only. While you're here you'll want to try some of the Long Run specialty cocktails, which each have a Thai twist. The menu and restaurant layout are designed for sharing, so we recommend heading here with a group of friends or family and ordering the banquet menu to make the most of your dining experience. Coming in at number 8 we suggest Vue de Monde. Vue de Monde is by far the fanciest fine dining restaurant on our list, with prices to match. If you're looking for an indulgent night out for a special occasion with a breathtaking view, you really can't go past dinner at Vue de Monde. Whilst the menu at Vue de Monde is constantly changing, with new and innovative dishes, one thing you can be certain of is that you are receiving the finest quality dishes made with the finest quality Australian ingredients. The restaurant is located on the 55th floor of Melbourne's Rialto building, so as you eat you can watch the night in the city unfold beneath you. It truly is a Melbourne dining experience like no other. Coming in at number 7 we suggest Tipo 00. Named after the flour used in the delicate handmade pasta this restaurant serves up, Tipo 00 is one of our favourite Italian restaurants in Melbourne. This small pasta bar is charming and authentic with a wait staff who know their wines and chefs who know how to draw in lines of diners. One of the reasons that we love Tipo 00 so much is that whilst the food being served is fine dining quality, the menu prices are extremely affordable. If you're really wanting to get the full Tipo 00 experience, we recommend ordering the chef's menu. It is pricier than other menu options but includes a selection of starters, pasta, and desserts that the kitchen staff handpick. The restaurant also caters for dietary requirements, including gluten-free options so it's a great pick if you're heading out with a group. Coming in 
at number 6 we suggest Il Salito Posto. Tucked away in a basement on Melbourne's bustling Collins Street, sits one of the city's best all-day Italian restaurants. This cozy chic cafe restaurant will make you feel right at home, with the best of Nonna's cooking served up just for you. The food here is also very reasonably priced. It's a great spot for a date night out or even a solo dining experience. Open for breakfast and lunch Tuesday to Friday, and dinner until late Tuesday to Saturday. Il Salito Posto is a one-stop shop for all your Italian cravings. Coming in at number 5 we suggest Red Spice Road. Red Spice Road brings the flavors of Asian street markets down under, with a modern twist on authentic Asian dishes. Possibly one of Melbourne's most popular restaurants, Red Spice Road has been well loved by Melbourne for over 10 years. Whilst the lunch menu is a la carte, we recommend heading to Red Spice for dinner and following one of three banquet menu options. The banquet menus are reasonably priced for the quantity of food you'll receive, and they each have a comparative vegetarian option which is fantastic if you are heading here in a group. While you're here, make sure to try one of Red Spice's signature cocktails, or better yet, share a jug with friends. Coming in at number 4 we suggest Cesar. Cesar is our top pick for Middle Eastern cuisine in Melbourne CBD. Located in the tiny laneway of Melbourne Place beside Russell Street and Little Collins Street, Cesar is a restaurant worth hunting down. Cesar's take on traditional Armenian and Middle Eastern dishes covers everything from small share plates and dips to whole slow roasted lamb shoulder. For the quality of food that you are receiving, the menu prices are also quite affordable. If you plan on heading to Cesar, we recommend recommend choosing the chef selection. Depending on how hungry you are, and how much you are willing to spend, you can opt into the two course, four course, or five course option. Coming in at number three we suggest the French Brasserie. The French Brasserie is a chic and relaxing French restaurant just off Exhibition Street. Whilst the menu here isn't extensive, it doesn't need to be because all the available options are just so good. The food is incredible, and the wait staff is extremely helpful and accommodating. The venue itself is also stunning and the wine list lives up to the French reputation. With outdoor, mezzanine and indoor seating options, you could keep coming back and have a different dining experience each time. Coming in at number 2 we suggest Ho Chi Mama, popular amongst Melburnians, with two locations one in Melbourne CBD and and one in Richmond. Ho Chi Mama is the funkiest Asian fusion restaurant the city has on offer. Think neon lights and velvet booths, underlit bar seating and epic graffiti murals. The food at Ho Chi Mama doesn't disappoint either. Not only are the menu items super affordable, but the smaller dishes are also designed to be shared. Come along with a group of friends, order up and split the bill. You'll get the chance to try a range of delicious dishes without breaking the bank. Plus, with the money you save on food, you've got a great excuse to splurge on one or two of the restaurant's signature cocktails. Ho Chi Mama also caters to all dietary requirements, making it an even more enticing venue for a dinner date with a large group of friends. Finally, at number one, we recommend Rice Paper Scissors. Located in both Fitzroy and the CBD, Rice Paper Scissors is best known for its incredibly decadent sticky pork. While it's the sticky pork that draws in the crowds, they keep coming back because Rice Paper Scissors offers a unique menu both in format and flavor. All the menu items at Rice Paper Scissors take a modern twist on traditional dishes, and they are designed to be shared. In fact, the menu specifies that you should order five dishes to be shared by a minimum of two people. The atmosphere here is always lively because it is one of Melbourne's most budget-friendly high-quality group dining experiences. We really have nothing to complain about. Oh, and best yet, their cocktail list is as delicious as the food. We guarantee you'll have a good time at Rice Paper Scissors. That wraps up our top 20 restaurants in Melbourne. If you're looking to save money and get discounts on your dining experiences, we highly recommend downloading the Fork app. With a range of restaurants around the world offering up to 50% off their menus, this is one of our favorite apps to use while traveling. If that wasn't reason enough to download the Fork app, they're also offering $10 off your first restaurant booking when you sign up with the code 8353FDD9. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love all things travel, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. See you next time!